So, here's the deal. After each major assignment, we are going to ask you to um, reflect on what you've learned. Here's why. And this is going to be new. There's some of you that you've taken a few classes and you're like, wait, I haven't done this in my other classes. What's going on? Well, it's something new that we've decided to try to better prepare you guys for the portfolio that you'll turn in at the end of the program. Now, some of you are like, portfolio? What portfolio? Okay, this is your first class in the master's program. And really, in, in all respects, it should be your second group of classes because we actually have this set up so that people start in the fall and the spring. So really, you've kind of jumped into the second semester if, you know, if you're just starting out. So you didn't kind of get this information from the first semester, but that's okay. You're still good. We're going to learn right now, part of it anyway. All right, so when you graduate from this master's program, you could choose a thesis program or a non-thesis track. Pretty much everybody chooses a non-thesis track because, yeah, you know, y'all just don't think you want to do that. And I understand because when I did it, I didn't do the thesis track either. <laughs> but there we, there's a um, requirement to have an exit assessment of some kind. So in the program, we've chosen to have you compile a portfolio. And part of that portfolio is reflecting on your learning through, um, throughout each class and after, each, after projects that you've completed and all that. Okay, so we decided that maybe if we would ask you to actually sit down as soon as you completed a project and reflect on it, that when you do come back during your last semester and when you start compiling your portfolio, you'll remember, you'll be, oh yeah, you know, I've got that piece. And so then you can, you can craft your portfolio, your reflections and, and items for that portfolio much easier than if we said, well, you know, you're going to do a portfolio and you hear about it at the beginning, and you hear about it when you take your portfolio class, and you don't hear about it again until your final semester when you haven't been doing anything really at all much, and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to put this portfolio together, and I don't remember what that assignment was or what I did or what I learned. I just don't even remember doing that. Did I do that assignment? <laughs> and so this is going to be our way, hopefully, of helping you work through that reflective process now so that down the road, you can be like, oh, yeah, okay, I can do that. Okay, so you're going to use the template that's attached here in this assignment. When you get a grade for this, it's just going to be complete or incomplete. You get five points for doing it. I'm not going to give you feedback on it. I'm not going to say, yeah, this is great, you're on the right track or anything like that. Okay, this is your reflective writing. That's all it is. And we just made an assignment to say, hey, here it is, do it, kind of thing. You will find one of these after the visual literacy assignment, after the video assignment, after the presentation assignment, and after your final project. Okay? So you'll do four of these in this course. All right. Now, you might see these in this class only. I don't know. We're still working to get it integrated. Okay? If you don't see it in another course, feel free to use the template here that I've given you and Fill it out for uh, what you're doing in your other class. Right, I'm I'm, I need to talk to Ms. Brown anyway, but hopefully we can get that integrated in both classes so that you're doing it. If you have questions about this reflection, let me know. Like I said, it's nothing major. It's just putting your thoughts down. There's questions to kind of to guide you. And then um, submit it here, and you get five points. And you say, yay, so 23 points for you. And, um, well, I guess that's all I have to say. And you will not see this on every reflection assignment. This is just for this very first one. All right? All right. Bye, guys.